Late Night Thoughts with Mr. Zabo. Frightening thought. What if there is no such thing as redemption? That forgiveness is just an idea we made up and that it doesn't actually phenomenologically occur, that there is no happening in the universe, no event, no energy, no nothing. There's not, there's just no such thing as forgiveness. What if that were true? What if that were the case? What if our world existed in such a way that forgiveness was just a lie that we told ourselves and each other? That thesis, that uh, positing that is actually so mind-bogglingly frightening that I hesitate to talk about it any further, that I hesitate to give it form with my words, that I hesitate to give that idea any energy. Because I don't, I could not cope with that, I don't think. I could not deal with that. It would be too much of a tragic comedy farce of a mind fuck to exist in a place, in a universe, in a reality in which forgiveness was a hoax and did not genuinely exist, could not be executed, could not be engaged in. No one could be forgiven by anything or anyone at all. Not by your own loved ones, not by the perpetrator and the victims. No God could swoop in and forgive anything at all. Like nothing, no one, none of us. Not even if there were really a talking giant invisible, semi-invisible, omnipotent, uh, omnipresent, you know, interactive being in the sky, and but he could not forgive us. Wouldn't that be a fucked up place? And yet, it, to have the double whammy of like, there is the lie, right? Like there's the, the psyop, the propaganda noise of forgiveness and redemption and healing. I can't indulge in that fear thought for too long because I might seduce myself into believing it to be true. And that's how mind fucks work. That is precisely how echo chamber manipulation seeps into our thinking, right? I must reject that philosophically. I must say to myself, that is so unlikely as to be impossible. But how do you verify? How do I propose that that is impossible and, and then prove it? I don't know. I'm going to have to sit on that. But what a f fucking frightening thought to have in the middle of the night. Please forgive me for sharing it with you. I hope it does not freak you out as much as it has freaked me out just now. Ah. Thoughts with Mr. Zebo. Let's revisit this in a few episodes and see what kind of answers we can't dredge up. As always, thanks for tuning in. This has been Late Night Thoughts. 
with your always humble and perpetually insomniatic talk show opinion host, the incorrigible Mr. Zebo. <laughs>